Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we take you to the cutting edge world of AI in 2024. In this tutorial video, we will unveil the top languages for AI, your gateway to the dynamic world of artificial intelligence. AI continues to redefine industries and create groundbreaking innovations. To harness its full potential, you need to know which programming languages are the steering in the AI revolution. We will dive deep into Python, R, Julia, and much more, uncovering their unique strengths and weaknesses for programming in AI. Whether you are an AI professional or a curious learner, this video will illuminate the language landscape that drives innovation and transforms possibilities. Join us in the unlocking of the language of innovation. Before we get started, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then like, share, and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. If you are a professional with minimum one year of experience and an aspiring artificial intelligence professional looking for online training and certifications from the prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts, Simply Learn's postgraduate program in artificial intelligence from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM is just what you need. For more details, head straight to our homepage and search for artificial intelligence postgraduate program from Purdue University or simply click on the link in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's go to our training. We will get started by discussing about Python, followed by that we will get into our programming language. Then we have Julia, followed by that we have Java programming language and lastly we have JavaScript. So let's get started with Python. Python stands out as the preferred language for AI programming due to its versatility, extensive libraries like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and its user-friendly syntax. It streamlines development, offers faster prototyping, and easy integration with AI frameworks. Python's rich ecosystem enables data manipulation, model development, and deployment. Despite its interpreted nature, it performs efficiently in AI tasks. However, there are few pros and cons to consider. Let's get ahead with pros. So the pros of using Python for AI are vast library support. Python boasts a wealth of AI libraries simplifying complex tasks. Next is community and documentation. Its large community ensures support and rich documentation. Followed by that, we have readability. Python's clean syntax enhances code readability and collaboration. After that, we have cross-platform compatibility. Code written in Python runs seamlessly across platforms. Lastly, rapid prototyping. Python's dynamic typing and ease of use enable quick experimentation. Now that we have discussed the pros of using Python, let's look at few cons of using Python. Firstly, slower execution. Python can be slower than low-level languages due to its interpreted nature. Next is global interpreter lock or also called as GIL. GIL hampers multi-threaded performance. Next, resource intensive. It may not be able to be the best choice for resource intensive AI applications. Followed by that, limited mobile support. Not ideal for mobile AI app development. Lastly, lack of low level control. For highly optimized AI solutions, a lower level language may be preferable. Now that we have discussed Python, let's move ahead and learn about R programming language. R is a compelling choice for AI programming due to its strengths in data analysis and visualization. Crucial aspects of AI development is also one of the biggest reasons. Its extensive ecosystem of packages such as Carrot and TensorFlow provides comprehensive tools for machine learning. R's statistical capabilities are invaluable in AI model interpretation, making it a go-to language for researchers and data scientists. Now, let's proceed and discuss the pros of using R for AI. First is data analysis. R's data manipulation libraries like DPLYR and Tidyverse are powerful for processing AI datasets. Next, visualization. With ggplot, and ggplot2 are excels at creating insightful data visualizations crucial for understanding AI model outputs. Next ahead we have statistical rigor. 
R's statistical functions enhance the interpretability of AI models. Moving ahead, we have large community. A thriving R community ensures abundant resources and support. Lastly, integration. R interfaces seamlessly with AI frameworks like TensorFlow, Keras, and H2O.AI. Now that we have discussed the pros of this particular programming language, let's also consider some of the common cons of using R for AI. Firstly, performance. R can be slower for large-scale data processing compared to languages like Python. Niche in AI is the second point. While it's strong in data science, R has a more specialized role in the broader AI landscape. Next ahead, we have limited deployment. Deployment of AI models developed in R can be more challenging than in some other languages. Next, less versatility. R might not be the best choice for tasks beyond AI and data science. Lastly, learning curve. For those who are new to programming, R's syntax and concepts can be initially complex. Moving ahead, we have Julia. Julia stands out as the excellent choice for AI programming due to its speed, versatility, and simplicity. Its just-in-time, or also known as JIT compilation, accelerates code execution, making it exceptionally fast for numerical and data-intensive tasks, a crucial aspect of AI. Julia seamlessly integrates with popular AI libraries, offers native support for distributed computing, and is user-friendly. Now, let us consider pros and cons of Julia, starting with pros. First one is high performance. Julia speed is a game changer for computationally demanding AI tasks. Next, ecosystem. It provides access to AI libraries like Lux.jl and MLJ. Moving ahead, we have ease of use. Its syntax is approachable and resembles Python, making it more accessible to developers. Next ahead, we have parallel computing. Julia's built-in support for parallelism aids AI model training. And lastly, open source. Being open source encourages community development and collaboration. Now moving ahead, we will consider some of the cons of Julia. Firstly, less mature ecosystem. While growing, Julia's AI library ecosystem is not as extensive as Python's. Next, learning curve. Despite its similarities to Python, adopting Julia may require some adjustment. Third one, market adoption. Python is the dominant language in AI which can impact job opportunities compared to Julia. Limited general purpose use is the fourth one. Julia is primarily designed for technical and scientific computing. And lastly, documentation. Some libraries may have less extensive documentation compared to Python. Julia's unique combination of speed, simplicity, and extensibility make it a compelling choice for AI programming, especially for applications where performance is critical. However, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons in the context of your specific AI project and the broader industry landscape. Moving ahead, we have Java. Java is a solid choice for AI programming due to its versatility and reliability. It offers a wealth of libraries including Deep Learning 4J and Weka, making it suitable for machine learning and AI development. Its probability ensures AI applications can run on various platforms seamlessly. Now, let's look at the pros of using Java for AI. Starting with cross-platform compatibility. Java's write once, run anywhere philosophy ensures AI applications work on different platforms. Next, we have strong ecosystem. A rich ecosystem of libraries simplifies AI development. Next in the list is robust and secure. Java's inherent safety and robustness are essential for AI's critical applications. Then we have community support. A large developer community provides resources and support. Lastly, scalability. Java's scalability suits AI projects from small applications. This is very crucial. Next ahead, we have the cons of using Java for AI. Firstly, performance. Java can be slower than languages like Python or C++ for certain AI applications and computations. Next, verbose syntax. Java's code can be more verbose, increasing development time. Next ahead is steep learning curve. Its strict type system can be challenging for the beginners in AI programming. 
Next is resource consumption. Java applications might consume more memory. Lastly, less popular in research. Java is less common than Python in AI research and prototyping. Now comes the last programming language of today's session, which is the JavaScript. JavaScript is a versatile choice for AI programming due to its widespread adoption and accessibility. It can be it can be used both on the client and server sites, making it ideal for developing AI-powered web applications. JavaScript offers an extensive ecosystem of libraries and frameworks such as TensorFlow, BrainJS, and Synaptic, enabling seamless integration of AI functionalities. It supports for asynchronous programming, suits AI tasks that involve data processing and real-time interactions. However, JavaScript isn't typically the first choice for complex AI models due to the performance limitations and lack of specialized AI libraries. Nonetheless, its broad utility makes it an accessible entry point for AI development. Now, proceeding ahead, we will discuss the pros and cons of using JavaScript for AI. Versatility JavaScript can run on both the client and server sites, making it suitable for web based AI applications. Next is extensive ecosystem. JavaScript has AI libraries like TensorFlow.js, simplifying AI model development. Third one is asynchronous programming. It supports asynchronous operations for real time processing. Next, accessibility. A widely used and well supported one with an abundance of resources and community knowledge is the most important point of JavaScript pros. And lastly, we have cross-platform compatibility. Works across different platforms and browsers facilitating deployment. And now, let's move ahead and discuss the cons of this particular programming language for AI programming. First one is performance limitations. JavaScript is generally slower than low-level languages for compute-intensive AI tasks. Lack of specialized libraries is the second one as it lacks some specialized AI libraries and tools available for languages like Python. Next is limited for complex models, not ideal for highly complex AI models due to performance constraints. Fourth one is garbage collection overheads. Automatic garbage collection can introduce latency in real-time AI applications. And lastly, debugging challenges. Debugging JavaScript-based AI code can be complex, especially in large-scale projects. Those were the important pros and cons of using JavaScript for AI programming. And with that, we have reached to the end of this session on top languages for AI in 2024. Should you need any assistance, PPT or other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.